In this video, we will demonstrate the snapshot feature in HC3's Hypercore operating system, Scale's pre-integrated software that comes with all HC3 products. HC3 was designed with a very unique snapshotting capability. At the time of taking a snapshot, the system creates a near-instant VM-level snap tracking the blocks unique to that snapshot. It's extremely space efficient as it doesn't require a copy of the data to be duplicated for every subsequent snapshot. It also allows for over 5,000 snapshots per VM with no disruption to the VM at the time of taking a snapshot or related to the ongoing performance of that VM over time. As you can see here, I've connected to the IP address of one of my nodes in my 3-node HC4000 cluster. Those nodes are represented across the top with the running VMs on those nodes here in the HUD view. Let's demonstrate the snapshot capability by creating a snapshot on my Active Directory server here. I'll pull up the console so you can see what that looks like. And then we'll just create a snapshot by either clicking on the snapshot icon here from the summary screen or going into the snapshot view. As you can see our snapshots listed here by creating a snapshot clicking on the icon here. So I'll give that a name. Click snapshot. As you notice, the snapshots 82 will be incremented to 83 to reflect the newest manual snapshot that we've just created on the system. That will also be next to the automated snapshots from our replication feature that's also built into the Hypercore operating system. That leverages the same snapshotting technology that we're demonstrating here. will be shown in a little more detail in a separate video. Now we mentioned the efficiency of the system and how it tracks the blocks unique to each snapshot. That's represented here in the differential size between this snapshot and the prior snapshot on the system. I can quickly restore by cloning this, just clicking clone or changing the name and description ahead of that. And you'll see that pop up in the user interface here shortly. This new VM that I'm cloning is immediately bootable. It's immediately writable. I can quickly spin that up and just pulling up the console will bring up kind of that same Windows view that we just saw from the prior VM that we had uh, cloned this based on. And there we are. Now a couple things that are worth mentioning here. Number one is that HC3 uses an allocate on write methodology for creating these snapshots and that has a performance benefit over the copy and write methodology that you've seen in other products. Another thing worth mentioning is that the snapshots that you saw on this list here are all independent of each other, as well as this clone that we've created separately. I can delete snapshots here in this view, and while they are using the same reference blocks for creating a new clone based on those snapshots, they are not linked. So deleting a snapshot somewhere in this list is not going to affect any of the preceding or following snapshots related to that, it's also not going to change the clone that's based on a, on a snapshot in that chain. The other thing worth mentioning is because they're using the same reference blocks, you'll notice as we created that clone, we did not see an increase in the disk utilization on the system. It will only create new data as we allocate space for data unique to this clone as it's written to that clone. Now, if you'd like to learn more about HC3 snapshot and cloning capabilities, please visit our website at scalecomputing.com to sign up for a weekly demo or engage us in a live chat there, or just give us a call at 877-SCALE-59.